Duncan Backus, defender, senior. My name is Justin Baumstieg. I'm a freshman and I play goalkeeper. I'm really excited for this season. Uh, we've got a lot of talent this year. I think it's one of the most talented teams in the history of UCSB, so I'm hoping we can uh, fulfill all of our goals and uh, make it to the win the title this year. I've always wanted to play on the field, harder stadium. It's like soccer heaven, that's what they call it. So I've always been, uh, been a big fan of the program, especially as my dad is a coach, and just been dreaming of uh, being on that field. I'm really excited for this year. Um, first and foremost, it's my last year, so uh, this is my last crack at it. And maybe uh, the legacy that personally I have left these past couple of years, maybe with letdowns in postseason and early on, and maybe the Big West tournament and stuff has not been ideal but I'm hoping this last year it kind of ended on a high note and ultimately the highest note would be a national championship. So I'm hoping for that. The most exciting environment in college soccer, uh, no doubt, there's no argument there. Uh, we play fast, we play quick, we're physical and, we're, and the coaches are really trying to pound it into our brains immediately right from the first day. Um, we're gonna be, not only are we gonna be skilled and technical, but we're gonna be guys that aren't afraid to shy away from a tackle or do anything like that. So. I think we're just trying to be a complete team, both individually and collectively. Just out here at practice the first day, I mean, just playing keeper, I gotta be aware of everybody on this field because almost I think anybody can score, defend, do it all. So I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I think we got a really good chance to do something special. Teaching some kids a little bit of skill. We're playing you know, soccer and just doing demonstrations for them, and uh, we're just kind of getting them into the game. You know, it's so important just because Santa Barbara they really implement you know the community, and these kids coming out to our games it's everything to us. You know, our stadium packs packs out, and these kids are the reason that we have such a nice crowd. I think it meant a lot when I was a kid, and the uh, Kansas City Wizards came to our school. It meant a lot to me. It, it gave me something to aspire to. So I think uh, us visiting the school is like, a really big opportunity for us. I think it's important to work with kids. Um, especially from this school because I know growing up I really wanted a chance to see the good players, the best players, and it's nice to give back and I know they are happy to have us here. I'm excited because most of these kids don't get a chance to come out to many games, so it's good to, to just give them back and show them a little bit of how we work through training and practices, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they had a good time. Well, we're here to show uh, all the kids of Adelaide School a good time and uh, how UCSB can affect lives in a positive way. I mean, it was, it was great. I had a lot of fun teaching the kids skills and stuff. Um, I, uh, I really enjoy seeing kids happy and, and showing them what UCSB is all about. I think uh, giving back to your community is one of the most important parts of being an athlete because they're the fans that you see in the games and they're cheering you on all the time so it's really important to keep them happy as well. It's Gaucho Game Day. This Friday at 7.30, UCSB's men's soccer starts off in a big way facing Pac-12 champions and the number five team in the nation, Stanford University. The Gauchos have the strongest team since their run to a national championship, so this will be one for the ages. Two games, one ticket. This Friday at Harder Stadium. Women's soccer at 5 p.m., then men's soccer versus Stanford at 7.30. It's Gaucho Game Day.
Lightning above and a fire below me. You cannot catch me, cannot hold me. You cannot stop, much less control me. When it rains, it pours. When the floodgates open, brace your shores. That pressure won't care when it breaks your doors. Say it's all you can take, better take some more. Cause I know what it's like to just fade. Had my shoulders pressed with that weight. Stood up strong in spite of that hate. Night gets dark, it's right before dawn. What don't kill you makes you more strong. And I've been waiting for it so long. Riverside, Jose Hernandez. Smith has won it back. And here come the Gauchos. Nice little touch out, a chomp on. Good delivery, and the header is there. UCSB has equalized. What a goal. And it's big Nick Depew to make it 1-1 in Westwood. And a foul goal kick almost going awry. But take a look at the numbers. Tops in the Pac-12 last year. Meanwhile, here they come behind Salamani. What a goal from Ahinga Salamani. And UCSB have their first lead. So third corner for the Gauchos. It's floated high. Cervantes on his line and pays the price. Attack. Trying to link with Dunlady. Seen to by Kazada. Back there on the defensive line for the Gauchos. Smith making a mistake and putting Contreras under pressure. And it's unassured right now from the Bruins. And Depew looks to pounce. He's got one with him. He squares it across. Good night. It's a clinic right now. Santa Barbara, your hometown Gauchos are making waves on a national level. You just saw them beat number five Stanford right here in your backyard. This Friday, 11th ranked Akron, a soccer powerhouse who is here for the 2010 College Cup, is back in town. Unfortunately for them, so are thousands of UCSB students. This one is going to be crazy. For tickets, visit UCSBGauchos.com or call 805-893-UCSB. It's Gaucho Game Day.
don't know me. Lightning above and a fire below me. You cannot catch me, cannot hold me. You cannot stop, much less control me. When it rains, it pours. When the floodgates open, brace your shores. That pressure won't care when it breaks your doors. Say it's all you can take. The highs and lows of college soccer, um, the real high on Monday down at UCLA, and then of course the real disappointment on Friday night, and then of course tonight we um, we did some real nice things, and it was great to get four goals and win the game, and you know feel good about going in the league. So um, yeah, I, I, again I equate that to just it, it is a roller coaster ride. Um, it's um, it's a challenge to stay level. Um, to not get too excited and uh, be able to, you know, suffer defeat and still be able to bounce. To be honest, I just kept running. I was like, I'm gonna get to the ball. That was, that was all in my head. You know, um, I didn't think twice about stopping. I, I think uh, the momentum of, of the uh, defender missing the header probably gave me the momentum of going through and pushing. And I just find, I found um, Nick in the middle alone. So. It's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy pass. I think that Nick pushing away definitely opened up space for me. And I've been definitely working a lot in practice and uh, before games just to get my shot low and keep it on frame. It's, just, it's a problem I had preseason, a problem I had in the beginning of the season, but I think I'm picking up on it now. It was the most important game of our season because, you know, we, we could kind of go two different ways after Friday's result. And, uh, and I thought the guys um, – channeled the energy the right way. I thought we came out. Um, Sunday games are tough. It's whatever team comes out with energy, comes out with focus. Let me disarm you. I'm not trying to own you. I just want to know what it feels like to have your body so close. Let me absorb you of the past that controls you I just want to know what you look like without a weight on your soul I know somewhere we could get away if you want to find another place love disappear and never leave a trace take you anywhere you want so let
It's Blue Green Rivalry time. This Saturday at 7 p.m., Cal Poly will witness firsthand why Harder is the loudest stadium in college soccer. Traditionally, this rivalry draws the nation's largest crowd and is sure to, once again, your Gaucho men's soccer team is ranked number 13 in the country and are looking to make a run back to the College Cup. For tickets, visit UCSBGauchos.com or call 805-893-UCSB. It's Gaucho game day. Could not have gone better um, in all reality. I mean, you can say that, but that, that was the reality. Uh, I, I think we always feel like uh, the, the West is extremely competitive. Um, 
And any time you get into the tournament and you get a chance to play somebody from a different conference, somebody that you wouldn't normally play, um, for us, that, that's a win. And obviously, yeah. Yeah. the team we're playing has to play on Thursday night and travel 3,000 miles across the country. So I always feel like that's, uh, that's a tough road trip uh, after a Thursday night game. It's huge for us. Uh, maybe a little bit of surprise there, 15 seed after losing a heartbreaker to Cal State Fullerton. But uh, it's really big. Um, it's a huge accomplishment for our players and what we've done throughout the regular season. It's a huge testament to the hard work we put in with the coaches and, and as individuals and as a team. So. Uh, we're really excited for 15 seed and hosting that game and getting that bye to get our le legs back and maybe some injuries uh, get healed up a bit quicker. And uh, we like where we stand in terms of potential matchups how, uh, if we're fortunate enough to win this first round game. I mean, it never gets old playing NCAA tournament games, and um, you know, I thought I thought we were excited to play tonight. Uh, I thought we were ready to play tonight, and um, you know, interesting enough, I thought we were ready to play last Saturday against Fullerton, and a little bit of a similar script. I mean, it was ten to one in shots, and we had you know four or five looks. You know, that you, you're never going to find normally in a Division One playoff game. Um, I mean, realistically, that thing could have been 3-4-0 at halftime with the game over. But for some reason, um, it's been two games now where we've looked at the goalie and, you know, we just haven't done what we need to do to, to get it past them. Um, combination of not the best shot or, or maybe we missed the frame or, you know, a good play by the keeper or maybe just, like, I even look at that first shot that we had in the first five minutes where I don't know who rifled it and it just hit somebody who's standing inside the goal. Uh, it's just a little bit unlucky. And, and so, um, again, I, I, we went back in. Um, the problem when you throw the whole kitchen sink at somebody in the first half, which was the game plan, um, I mean, they've traveled 3,000 miles. They played on Thursday. We wanted to run all over them in the first half, and we expended a lot of energy. When um, Andy crossed it uh, and it came to Nick, I was like, oh, okay, it's a go. Like, it's over. We're, we won. And then Nick, Nick, like, I think he mits hits it or it gets a deflection. I'm like, oh, here we go again. So I run and chase after the second ball. I was gonna cross it, but they had two defenders uh, blocking me going left. So I was like, why don't I just go right for once? I've been practicing it in the spring, so I go right and I just hit it and thankfully it went in. I mean, I'm always looking for Nick when I have the ball on the right, uh, to be honest. But uh, I was looking to actually hit it a little higher to get it to his head, but you know, I kind of whipped it and luckily it got through and it went right to his foot. And I saw exactly what happened. He, he got over it a little bit. So it took a, a it bounced and then it took a little deflection and then it went right on the goal line and they made a great play to, to save it. Um, and then, I mean, luckily it went straight to Ish and he finished it off for us. But um, I, I keep feeling like the dam's gonna break for us. So, you know, we've got like 35 shots with like one goal in the last couple games. I, I just feel like we're just due to like first shots a goal, second shots a goal, and who knows, maybe we'll be up 3-0 at halftime.
It's the best to use. Won't you?